Yes, Zishan had asked the question. I guess somebody asked, um, how do I tell people that I don't have a phone? I, I've found that people surprisingly respect you for being different. They, we, we, it's our own insecurities and we feel like, oh, we just want to fit in. We want to go under the radar. We don't want anyone to notice us. But more often than not, people respect you for being different. That's what American culture is all about, is really just being the maverick, being unique, doing your own thing. And so to just say with confidence, you know what? I don't have a phone, so you're going to have to email me that information for class or you're going to have to give me a printout or whatever it is, but being unapologetic about it. Um, that was one of the things uh, when our sons went to high school and we told them that one thing I used to do back when I was in high school, which I realized doesn't work, and so we taught them a different tactic, that if somebody would ask me, like, why aren't you coming to the prom or why don't you have a boyfriend or why don't you drink, I would always answer, I can't drink, I can't date. I can't go to the prom. But what we taught our sons is to say, I don't drink, I don't date, I don't go to the prom. To say it as if it's a choice you're making. It's not something, be yeah, take ownership of it. And it's not something being put on you. And people, if, if you say, I can't, the reaction is, oh, you poor thing. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, your parents are such losers. But when you say, I don't, then it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. All right, well, let's see how we can work around it. That's something you don't do, and I have to respect that. 